I know you say you coming up and MJ was one of them guys. Tell us the first time you met MJ. How was it? He 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 defraud he did some he did some bullshit. He did some bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. The first time I met him, he walked out on the court and he walked straight up to me and go, How's Dorothy? What? He said, How is Dorothy? That's my mom. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh, shit, she all right, she all right. I couldn't play the whole game. I couldn't play the whole game. I'm going to be asking my mom. OG, you like that? <laughs> like, boy, I know your mama, that's, boy. That's like, when they, that's, like, that's like when they say, that's like when they say, try and get someone with a smile. This oh, is right, right. You got me. You got me with that. You got me with that. Boy. He walked up to me and asked me, how my mom, man? That's, how my mom? That's the crazy. Use the name. He done, he done went in the program and saw my mom's name with Dorothy. You know, in the program, and use my mom's name. I think I scored eight points. Oh. I was at 24. <laughs> That's crazy. Mike asked by my mom. Mike asked by my mom. <laughs> <laughs> he got me. He got me. You got me. You got a chance to play against CMJ in college. Uh, you guys are in the league at the same time. You're, you start to see him build his legend. Uh, any great memorable matchups or stories against MJ you could share? Well, you know, MJ, <laughs> he always liked to, like, well, I'm gonna say, he always liked to fuck with you. You know, you know, that, that, you know he just, that's just who we are <laughs> with one another. When we come in contact, I mean. Well, the trash talk in the lead, it wasn't much for me anyway. You had a lot of guards that talk trash, like the Gary Paytons and those guys, and the Michael Jordan and those guys talk a lot of trash. M, yeah, man, you know, he, he always tell you, you know, especially when we are playing the game, even off the court to this to this day, you know, walking around, he'll put his hand up high, <laughs> try to, you know, for me to give him a high five. And, and, and I'll put my hand down low, like, and then you come down and give me a low five. So it's just, it's just a way we compete, compete, I mean, compete against one another. Absolutely. Now, there's a, there's a story out there uh, about you and Jordan. Uh, and Jordan being nasty to you in some way. Is that story true? What are your feelings on MJ? We had one series where you, you got now where, or since we got internet, folks are asking me about a trash talker when we played against the Bulls in the series, and they thought that Michael called me a midget. It was some stuff that's going on in the internet where they say that he called me a midget. You're saying that, you know, you're a little midget, but, you know, those type of things, you know, they don't affect you. You know, it's just the game that we're playing, and, and that, you know, those type of those things that come out, you know, we may call them a black cat, uh, you know. So little things like that, you know, that's part of the game. Well, people want to keep making up stories, but that's an internet story. You really? Know, yeah, it's an internet story. Even though MJ always joking me and calling me little fella and all that type of stuff, and they felt like he had some kind of impact, which is not true. He always called me short, little fella. Yeah, you know the little ass. He always mm -hmm. called me little ass and that sort of stuff. So, um, we playing against them. Of course, he got the ball. He just came back from uh, from retirement. He got the ball up in the air, and I'm at him. I, I'm playing on on the baseline one on one. And of course, everybody on my team know that I don't like help. Don't come to help me. <laughs> you know, I don't care who you are. Where the guys? Don't come help me. I don't because. Yeah, no, no back and try to back me down because guys ain't used to playing their back to the bats anyway. But anyway, this particular moment, and I guess it became infamous because he got as a card as I we holding the ball up and I'm looking right at him. I you see know, it. And I'm I see that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see yeah. that. And I'm talking shit to him. I'm telling him, come on, what you gonna do? And then all of a sudden he start to try to back me in and try to back me in and try to back me in. Then all of a sudden he tried to turn around and shoot his little jumper. I smacked it down. But they call illegal defense on somebody. Off balance from the pass. That's a sight. Five foot three inch Muggsy Bogues trying to keep Jordan out of the post. He stripped the ball. They're gonna call illegal defense on, on the Charlotte Hornets, and the fans are not gonna like this. Muggsy Bogues. Look at him underneath Michael Jordan. The fans just now finding out that there's an illegal defense call, but Bogues came away with that ball and it brought the crowd alive. Because they wasn't in, they was on across the line, but I always fucking with that time. Look, you know, you know that was a steal, don't you? 
Yeah, hey, we know we play with each other that back and forth. That's what I do. <laughs> you know, I'm a, that ball, that ball defender. I'm gonna make you think about that when you got that ball in your hand. Yes, sir. So he wasn't unusually. He was. He was a competitor yeah. and and would talk trash, right, right. but the same way he did to everybody. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I think the internet story was that he supposed to have called me a midget. Yes, and <laughs> that's the story on the internet. <laughs> he was supposed to call me a midget. And that destroyed my career. And that, I don't. I don't know what that. <laughs> But once you heard at, that, you fell my, apart. After my 10th year in the league. Yeah. <laughs> and that would have been the first time someone had made that the joke first, to you? First time someone had made that joke about me. Come on, that's true. Your man from Baltimore, yeah. people have said words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man from Baltimore, absolutely. What did I think about Monkey Boat? Five, three guys. Played in the NBA. Quickest guy I've ever seen. Played in basketball. And he is fitting in with the determination teams. No matter how big you are. How did you react or what did you think when Michael Jordan referred to you as a little bitch? I never forget it because he said, what's up, you little bitch? <laughs> <laughs> did, first time he saw you, didn't he use that expression? I remember the first time seeing him, I couldn't believe it, man. We was at the, the All-Star game. The NBA's best and brightest shine in prime time at the All-Star game, Sunday at 6 Eastern on NBC. That had to be my rookie year. The year that they gave out, they was uh, they did the top 50. Yeah. Don't fool yourself, bro. Go ahead and cut all that shit out. Don't, don't, don't fool yourself. Best center is the Kimbe. Come out of Georgetown. He's number 16. Now, Morning said he was the best. No. Dr. J. Him and Morning, him and morning are black holes. But we go with him. We're with him. We're with him. Black holes, man. Well, he don't pass? No. You know he don't pass. And I was. I think I was coming off the court from something, and I saw him, and they were getting ready to go on because he had his jacket on. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the court and welcome the 50 greatest NBA players of all time. <laughs> yeah, he and, called uh, me a little <laughs> b <laughs> <laughs> And he just grabbed me. It's a, it's a photo out there with him having me, like, in a headlock. And he was just like, you know, what's up, you little i never forget it. I looked at him like... All right, man. What do you say back to that? Because it's somebody you Nothing. really rock with. Nothing. You just got to eat that, right? Nothing. From the Chicago Bulls, number 23, Michael Jordan. It was no disrespect in it. And then I didn't take it that way anyway. I was just happy for him just saying anything to me. <laughs> and uh, it was just an exciting moment for me. And it was something that I treasured for the rest of my life. I ain't never looked at a person in my life. I don't seen a million celebrities. I never looked at somebody that didn't look real. Anybody that know Allen Iverson know Black Jesus was it for me. Like the goddamn guy was glowing or something, man. Man, I'll never forget my first time. I talked about it in my Hall of Fame speech. For the first time in my life, a human being didn't look real to me. And I, you know, I wasn't lying at all, man. He didn't look real to me. And like I literally seen his aura. Like he it looked like he was it looked like he was glowing. <laughs> like, you know, you know, I know I was starstruck. I know I was starstruck because like I looked at that man and he didn't look human to me. Yep. I can't stop looking at him. Like I'm looking at his shoes and I'm like, man, he got on the Jordans. You know what I mean? Like I mean it was it was Mike. It was my idol, it was my hero. And I'm looking at him like that's him. You know what I mean? I'm looking at his socks. I'm looking at his shirt. I know he got the Jordans on. You know what I mean? Like I was, I was blown away. That's what I tell people. The very first time I met him, I was on an elevator and I'm looking at him. And he probably looking at me like, this dude, where? I know who he is. He like, but he, look how he, he looking at me like, I'm like, he, he like he was levitating. He didn't look real. I'm like, man, this yeah. Michael Jordan. It was like, it was like, I'm talking about, it's the closest thing, I, you know, in the Bible, they talk about how the disciples, they saw G, they saw G, and they're like, he don't even look, I, to this day, I, every time I see him, he don't look real. I've never, I've never been right. like that with a man right. before in my life. Because I love him so much, and you know, he's still like, when I see him, you know, he don't look real. He's like, he got a, some type of <laughs> a glow about him or something, an aura, you know what I mean? He just don't seem, he's the only person in my life that I've ever met and he don't look human to me.